Oh, what's up guys? I've got some Vorsteiner wheels here. Uh, they are dropped off to my house during this quarantine. Uh, the guy works nearby and is an essential worker. So today I am coating these brand new Vorsteiners in Fine Lab wheel and caliper using my handy dandy airbrush. You can see we've got this big stack of wheels here. Very nice and he picked a nice gray finish. So this uh, five minutes or less wheel method uh, only applies if you are using a new or clean wheel. Uh, and then also towards the end, I do wait an hour in between putting another product uh, on top, which you don't have to do. So you could do this in five minutes or less. So I'm starting out uh, just prepping the surface, make sure there's nothing left there from the factory. So I'm using Fine Lab Panel Prep uh, to make sure that all the, any oils or any crap or crud or dust or anything that's on there is completely gone and this is a very bare surface uh, for us to throw some coating on. Other things you could use as well, uh, IPA mixture, Shine Supply Throwback, Car Pro Eraser, uh, all those things work on, on brand new wheels so, and even uh, wheels that were just pulled off and cleaned. Always do that last prep stage, uh, even if you did a really thorough job cleaning or even if they're brand new, because you never know what is still there. So if you are not a Fine Lab installer, there are lots of other coatings that you can use this same method for. Uh, so don't be afraid to try. I've done this with Ceramic Pro um, and also uh, with like a G Technic, one of the um, over-the-counter ones I, I tried it out with as well. So the best way to do this, in my opinion, the only way is with an airbrush. So with the airbrush, you're spraying. So I've got this little kit here, the Master Airbrush. This cost me about a hundred bucks for everything, and I think they're cheaper on Amazon right now. Uh, the only issue is if you don't have a really good solvent cleaner, that airbrush attachment actually breaks quite a lot, but they're only $25. Uh, I replace them probably every four to five months because they get clogged up with coating because uh, I usually forget to put something in there or whatever solvent I use just wasn't enough that day. Um, so by having the airbrush, you're spraying a fine mist, which can reach into all of the cracks and crevices, including on those two and three piece wheels where you can't physically coat, uh, those bolts that hold them together. Uh, but, with this you can, so, cause you'll hit all the little spots with all the fine mist, uh, this airbrush methods. Uh, some people will say that most of the mist isn't actually hitting the wheel, uh, but that is not true. Um, we're definitely creating a much thicker shield here and getting much more coverage because since you are doing the airbrush uh, you don't have to level it because this doesn't leave any noticeable residue behind so you actually get uh, more microns of thickness than if you were to use a regular microfiber applicator or otherwise uh, to coat these and those actually those microfiber applicators also waste a lot of product because they absorb a ton whereas you only need four to five drops in an airbrush uh, to do a whole wheel or uh, so you'll save quite a bit of money on everything. Uh, also, when you use the microfiber applicator block method, you have to level it and wiping it off. So if you're wiping coating off, then you're ultimately taking away from the thickness of the coating. So now fast forward an hour, uh, I did a pretty thick single layer of coating. I sprayed once and then I waited like 30 seconds uh, or not like 30 seconds, like two minutes for it to dry a little bit and then I sprayed more on top. Uh, then an hour later, I am topping this off with the SPS graphene detailer. You don't have to do this, so you might actually take less time to coat a wheel than me. Um, but I wanted to test this out on wheels and see how it works with the Fine Lab wheel and caliper and see if that graphene adds any water resistance or chemical resistance on top of this coating. So I guess we'll find that out. So uh, there's lots of other products you can top them off with, top coats, other ceramics, etc. cetera. Um, so there you have it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. And I hope you'll hit subscribe uh, and stay tuned for more detailing videos. And I hope you're all staying safe out there. Uh, if you are working, be careful. If you're home, be careful. Let's all stay safe and beat this together. Again, that was Fine Lab Wheel and Caliper available to consumers also.